Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more CNSL5. Right now we are in the round of 16. This is Group B, it's the winner's match, and we're on game number two between Fengji and Scan. Scan honestly dominating that first game. It never looked like Fengji really had too much of a chance. Uh, Scan just at every turn, just like adjusting and making what he was doing like the perfect thing to do at any time. Uh, you know, truly next level vibes out of that game. I hope that Fengji can give us a better game here on Butter. You know, there's some different planning that can occur on Butter since it's a two-player map. But I'm not, like, super holding my breath. I do think that Scan is definitely uh, one of the favorites of the tournament overall. Uh, he's got a great level right now, so we'll see. Uh, there is going to be a 4 to 8 racks here from Scan. So this 4 to 8 racks. Like, let's see if this is going to be an expansion 8 racks or this is going to be a factory 8 racks. Because normally, like, if you're going to go expansion 8 racks, like, this is close enough it can be an expansion behind it, right? You can just, like, lift this off and float it to, like, there, and you wall in with some depots, and you're okay. Uh, if it turns out to be um, the... the the, the eight racks with a factory, we're going to see the gas like relatively soon here. Uh, those are normally a little bit further up, but this is kind of like in between, not 100% sure. Uh, and of course, if it is the factory eight racks, it's like there's a lot of pressure going on. You're getting a, a vulture rather quickly after pressuring with Marines, and it's hard for Zerg to keep up with that. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna see that momentarily. Deciding to put that pressure onto Fengji, who is drone scouting. So the drone scout definitely going to help him out a little bit. He's going to see, oh, okay, this is an eight racks. And with the positioning of it, you're not thinking, oh, it's a double eight racks, right? Like, this is not... <laughs> if you're going to go double eight racks, they might be here. They might be here. They might be here, right? They could be over here. Like, you want the, them both to be close because you're basically going all in at that point. Uh, now, Scan gets up, sees that it is, in fact, hatchery first. So he'll be pretty happy about that. That is the build that you're looking for here. And very much of this comes down to the micro. Notice how he builds the, the bunker pretty far away. This is for retreating your Marines to. And as soon as Fengji sees that, he has to attack. You cannot let your opponent get a bunker up. Now, this is not about killing the hatchery. This is about killing drones. Uh, and of course, if the drones don't come out to fight, you will kill the hatchery. So they have to come out to fight. And then you got to target them down as best you can. Now, notice it, this is good by Feng Shi. Putting three on the bunker, the rest running around. They're looking for, like, a surround or something. Uh, you know, trying to catch the, the Marines off guard. He does force a cancel there on the uh, bunker. Scan going forward. He has three Marines now, so he can definitely gun things down quickly. Feng Shi's done a pretty darn good job of not losing drones yet. Is he going to have to fight with his drones? He has he has eight lings on the way, but it looks like he's decided that he does need to get up here and fight. So he's lost two drones, three drones. Oh, no. Oh, it gets up. And there's another. That's like four drones, a lot of lost mining time, eight lings made. And this is the expansion eight racks, right? So this is ling tight. This is the only hole. You can just bring a single SCV up, sit it here two, three Marines behind it. I mean, if you are really scared, you just put two uh, SCVs. But yeah, that was that's a pretty big advantage to scan. Uh, it's not that you can't recover from that, but basically you're con if you go eight racks like that, you're considered ahead, like even after two drones, ahead after three, and he killed like four and you know, we saw it. It was, it was, it was a good move from scan. Now, brings up three SCVs, so he's playing it very, very safe. You know, no way for these lings to actually do any damage at this point. It's going to be pure drones from here on out for Fengji. Uh, he is getting his uh, gas mining. So, I mean, I would assume that what we're going to see here, like he could pull some sort of crazy all in like a Hygelus den. I think that that's pretty darn weak, but it actually can catch your opponent off guard. Uh, instead, it should be a layer. Yeah, there it is. Now, will he go Muta or will he go Lurker? You know, sometimes you see a, a wall in like this. You might want to end up going Lurker, honestly. Like, you can break through there very easily. Sometimes they'll get up here and put bunkers in front, and you, you'll get held. Uh, and, I mean, the Lurker build is very all-in, just throwing it out there. It is kind of weak, but with the weird way the game has gone and the fact that he's already behind, it might be his best chance. Uh, and looking at Scan's build, once again, he is going for the Engineering Bay very, very quickly and the Terran Academy. So, uh, kind of similar to the previous game where... 
Scan has a very good read on the situation and feels like he can just absolutely get ahead. Like he's kind of doing all the different things at once here. Up at Fengji's base, the third hatchery is coming up and the lair going to be finishing relatively soon with the second gas finishing up here. This is certainly going to be Spire Tech. So it is going to be Mutalisks. Like Fengji is going to try to bring this back in a more standard way. It's just that is kind of the thing that Pre and Terrans are going to mess up the least against, I think, right? Because that is the most common thing to see is just straight up going Mutas. And the type of play that Scan has chosen here with the quick engineering bay, uh, and of course, obviously, the, the uh, academy is going to give him an army that's very, very good at fighting Mutalisk Zergling. Oh, oh, what's this? Burrow. Okay, this is really interesting. Now, just to throw this out there, like you you don't know if Zerg buildings are upgrading. They don't do anything different. The only thing is when you're turning into a layer or turning into a hive, then obviously they look like this again, and that's the only thing. Uh, or, you know, Spire and a Greater Spire. Okay, one more thing. Uh, but anyways, this is a burrow upgrade, which is super, super, super uncommon. Uh, now, speed plus burrow. I've This is a very rare thing. Uh, I have seen it before, but like the idea is you're going to harass with mutas, and then you're going to burrow like a million lings on an area that you think they're going to walk over, and then you're going to lure them over that. You're going to unburrow, and you're already going to be surrounding the army. Okay, see? He, he burrows there. He keeps a few lings out. So he's trying to bait right now with these lings. Okay, he's going to get this. He's going to kill this army 100%. Very well done. Uh, no, I thought what we were going to see there was a little bit later on, but since Scan was moving out, he just utilized the burrow right away. That burrow definitely paid for itself. He barely lost any lings. And now you have that in your mind that like, oh, okay, my opponent has burrow. Now, a lot of lings coming in. I don't know about this. I don't think the lings are going to get that much done. Let's see, though. Uh, he's losing a few. He got a turret. There's no turrets down here. Mutas are coming. He's going to kill a few Marines here. You know what? Maybe with, like, really superb Mutalisk Micro, there's something that can be done. But right now, it's only four and... Oh, God. He just flew an Overlord into the turret. That's not what you want to see. Oof. Uh, just throw this out there. You want seven Mutas, so let's count. Okay, we got eight. So this will one-shot SCV. So there's definitely damage potential here. Doesn't go after the natural. That's the most turret light area. Instead, dives to the main, flies over the missile turrets. Okay, well, he can at least kill off some SCVs here. Like I mentioned, this is enough for one-shotting. And he's, he's killing some SCVs for sure. Taking quite a bit of damage there as well. Does end up losing a single Muta. A lot of damage on the Mutas overall. So it's going to be a little bit harder to continue moves like that. But he does get some of the workers. 36 SCVs against 23 drones. He does have the three hatch. And we see a lot of drones being made. So Fengji is really powering up his economy right now. And that's something that Scan is going to be scanning for, right? Like, look, when Scan checks the natural, which is the most common place to check, when you see this many drones, you know your opponent has very few mutas. Uh, so I think what we'll see from Scan here, I'd be pretty surprised if he doesn't move out soon. He's got plenty of turrets to not be too afraid of anything. And, like, for sure he know Like, look, that's not even a full group of mutas. And every scan he's doing is seeing more drones than you should probably see. So it's a pretty greedy power up here. He even scanned in front of his base to catch those birdlings. It wasn't many. Those were, like, more of scoutinglings. And now what does Fengxi do? He's trying to make Sunkins. That's not quickly enough. Like, you need to make the Sunkins literally as the Marines are here. Like, as soon as the Marines leave this spot and start going forward, you need to start those creep colonies. So these won't finish by the time the Marines get there if he makes a straight line. The Mutas have to turn and slow this some. They absolutely must. Oh, man. I think we're about to see the end of this game, the end of the series. <laughs> Should... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you already dealt most of the damage to those. There's not that many Mutas here. Scan has plus one as well. That just has to be game. So much damage being dealt at the moment. 
eight Marines left over. And yeah, Scan going to go ahead and advance to that round of eight. GG, Fengji goes to the final decider match.